has been a deal on Capitol Hill. Today, the Senate and the White House agreed on a coronavirus rescue package. Total cost, nearly $2 trillion, all pumped into the economy and in some cases, your wallet. As Natalie Brand explains, now President Trump is pushing harder to get America out of quarantine. The Senate is expected to approve a more than $2 trillion stimulus package today. This is not even a stimulus package. It is emergency relief. The bill includes a one-time cash payment of up to $1,200 for most working Americans, $3,000 for the average family. It also expands unemployment insurance from 26 to 39 weeks for most people and boosts benefits by $600 a week through July. These benefits will be much easier to access and will be expanded to include part-time, self-employed, freelancers, and gig economy workers. The plan contains nearly $400 billion in loans and grants to small businesses to keep workers on the payroll, plus another $500 billion in loans for major industries like the airlines. And that aviation industry is flat on its back. Some 80 to 90 percent of the passenger load has disappeared. It also provides more than $130 billion for the nation's health care providers. It's a rescue operation. The resources that our health care providers need and the resources that our economy needs. The White House says the president is ready to sign the stimulus package as soon as it passes the House and Senate. The president is also stepping up his calls to get Americans back to work. Ultimately, the goal is to ease the guidelines and open things up to very large sections of our country as we near the end of our historic battle with the invisible enemy. But many are taking a cautious approach to the president's Easter timeline. The one thing we don't want to see is a relaxing of some of the restrictions on public activities and then a resurgence of the pandemic. The president says he'll reevaluate when the national 15 day social distancing guidelines expire next week. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House.